Thinking about getting into podcasting but concerned it's too late? In today's video, podcasting expert Paul Culligan is gonna tell you the one thing you need to know right now to get started with a successful podcast. Check it out. What do you want to say to people who are thinking about getting into podcasting? Get into podcasting. It's, it, it, it's an absolutely transformative platform. And it does two really amazing things at the same time that don't, a lot of people don't think about and don't realize. Number one, it gives you an amazing impact opportunity with your client base. But number two, it gives you the easiest path to finding your voice. No makeup has to be done, no lights have to be set up, no cameraman has to be flown in. You can grab a microphone, you begin to understand and figure out who you are. And the only way to do that is start. Your first episode's gonna be your worst episode, so get that done today. One of the amazing things about a podcast is the consumption paradigm is very different than everything else. In YouTube, there's going to be videos on the right-hand side of the screen. You might have it in the corner of a screen. You might be doing something else. You might be checking email. A podcast tends to be just the earbud or the car ride, and it tends to be very intimate. And this is two things. The intimacy is great, but also it begins to be a, a media where People want to listen to the whole thing. Right now, people might decide, oh, this Paul guy, you know, you know, I don't like what he has to say about podcasting. I'm going to flip to another channel. When they subscribe to a podcast, they tend to go all the way to the end. 107 million Americans drive to work by themselves on a 30-minute commute. You can drive with them. And all you have to do is be better than drive time radio. And I'll tell you this, you are better than drive time radio. When they discover your podcast, they tend to go into your back catalog yes. and download so many more. Exactly, they tend to go in the back catalog, they find the episodes they want, they wanna go on this journey. If you speak to previous episodes, then you let them know, they go back and look. There's not a podcaster I know who doesn't on a daily basis get people going all the way back to episode one. And what's great is, is it's a real unique opportunity because the only reason someone's gonna go into your back catalog is because they wanna go into your back catalog. There are more than enough choices in life now. So if they do that, you've got them. Let's talk strategy. Okay, we're sold on the idea of a podcast. We see the value of it, but where do we get started, Paul? A microphone and a message. We can get a microphone. Plenty of great choices, the under $100 range now on Amazon. And you can sit down and you can record it. And you, and you can listen to it. Was this a good idea? Was this a bad idea? Run it through a couple of people. But it doesn't take much. Once you've got a message and you've started recording some shows, what's the next part of the strategy? The next part of the strategy is to consider and think about impact. It's not an issue of downloads. Okay. It's an issue of impact. Talk to me about that. Well, here's the thing. If I only had one download of the podcast report, I would be frustrated. Right. If you only had one download of... Social media marketing podcast. Social media marketing well, podcast. Well, what if it was Mark Zuckerberg, right? Well, well, exactly, exactly. That's the thing. If Mark was the only one listening to it, or if the head of podcasting at Apple was the only one listening to it, or my ideal client was the only one listening to it, that's all I want. That's all I need. If you've got impact, if you've got a purpose, if you've got a message that nobody else can give, and you can catch the right people at the right time, you're an amazing place. Now, why in the world would Mark Zuckerberg listen to you is the question that we're all asking ourselves. But the fact of the matter is, it's back to what we said at the beginning of this, the consumption paradigm is a lot easier. There's a lot more opportunity for Mark to listen to your show than Mark to watch your video podcast or to read your book right. or to follow you on Twitter. Right. And so if you focus on impact and you design for impact and then you monetize the impact, then you don't really have to worry about the downloads. They're nice. I mean, we all check our numbers, but impact is far more important than anything else. Talk to me about where podcasts can be discovered now because I don't think a lot of people realize these new mediums that are carrying podcasts. It's crazy right now. We are like two weeks past the release of iOS 13. Last week, Apple opened up the new update to the operating system. They have an individualized podcast app. Spotify now has podcasts. Pandora, more Americans right now turn on Pandora every morning than listen to podcasts. But you can put your podcast in there as well. If you were to pick a topic, if I were to take social media podcast, search that in Google on the desktop, on the tablet, on the phone, on the iPhone, on the iPad, podcasts will come up with play buttons in Google before even YouTube videos will right now. Oh, really? Yes. And now that's what the word podcast is the trigger. You have to have that in there, but they're going to expand that out. Google has said if there's a podcast episode that answers a question better than a website does, they'll put that first. You know, and, and think about it. If you're going to your portable device and you ask a question like, how much vitamin C should I take in the morning? If there's a podcast about health that has a better answer, you're going to want it read by, you know, a, a professional as opposed to that, you know, voice. What do you want to say to people who feel like there's millions of podcasts out there or, or are we just getting started? If you have something different to offer, play. It's a, it's a fantastic space. If the idea of having intimate personal time with your audience who consumes you at a greater percentage than they consume anything else, if that excites you, if that makes you salivate, join the game. 
plenty of room. If, you know, I want to copy what everybody else is doing and all the great ideas are gone, yeah, don't go there. If you want to learn more about podcasting, be sure to check out Paul's channel. We have it linked right here. And we've also got an awesome video right over here that Paul has put together on podcasting. Check it out now.